The Dick Van Dyke Show is an American television sitcom that initially aired on CBS from October 3, 1961, until June 1, 1966. The show was created by Carl Rayner and starred Dick Van Dyke, Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. It centered on the work and home life of television comedy writer Rob Petrie. The show was produced by Rayner with Bill Persky and Sam Dinoff. The music for the show's theme song was written by L. Hagen. The series won 15 Emmy Awards. In 1997, the episodes Coast to Coast Big Mouth and It May Look Like a Walnut were ranked at 8 and 15 respectively on TV Guide's 100 Greatest Episodes of All Time. In 2002, it was ranked at 13 on TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Shows of All Time and in 2013, it was ranked at 20 on their list of the 60 Best Series. Premise, the two main settings show the work and home life of Rob Petrie, the head writer of a comedy variety show produced in Manhattan. Viewers are given an inside look at how a television show was written and produced. Many scenes deal with Rob and his co-writers, Buddy Sorrell and Sally Rogers. Mel Cooley, a balding straight man and recipient of numerous insulting one-liners from Buddy, was the show's producer and the brother-in-law of the show's star, Alan Brady. As Rob, Buddy, and Sally write for a comedy show, the premise provides a built-in forum for them to be making jokes constantly. Other scenes focus on the home life of Rob, his wife Laura, and son Richie, who live at 148 Bonnie Meadow Road in suburban New Rochelle, New York. Also often seen are their next-door neighbors and best friends, Jerry Halper, a dentist, and his wife Millie. Head of the family pilot the Dick Van Dyke Show was preceded by a 1960 pilot for a series to be called Head of the Family, with different actors playing the parts, although the characters were essentially the same, with the absence of Mel Cooley. In the pilot, Carl Rayner, who created the show based on his own experiences as a TV writer, played Robbie Petrie, although the name was pronounced with a long E, as opposed to the short E used in the later program. Laura Petrie was played by Barbara Britton, Buddy Sorrell by Morty Gunty, Sally Rogers by Sylvia Miles, Richie by Gary Morgan, and Alan Sturdy, the Alan Brady character, was played by Jack Wakefield, although his face was never fully seen, which was also the case with Carl Rayner's Alan Brady for the first several seasons of The Dick Van Dyke Show. The pilot was unsuccessful, which led Rayner to revamp the show with Dick Van Dyke playing the central character. The pilot was later revamped and remade as the series episode Father of the Week. Episodes At least three episodes were filmed without a live studio audience, The Bad Old Days, which featured an extended flashback sequence that relied on optical effects that would have been impractical to shoot with a live audience in the studio. The Alan Brady Show Presents, which required elaborate set and costume changes. And Happy Birthday and Too Many More which was filmed on November 26, 1963, only four days after President Kennedy's assassination. Rayner considered moving the production of the series to full color as early as season three, only to drop the idea when he was informed that it would add about $7,000 to the cost of each episode. Characters Main, Robert Simpson Rob Petrie a Eurohead writer for The Alan Brady Show a fictional network television comedy variety show broadcast from New York City. The role of Rob Petrie was almost given to Johnny Carson, but Sheldon Leonard, the show's executive producer, suggested Van Dyke. Laura Petrie a Euro Rob's wife. As a 17-year-old dancer in the United Service Organizations, she met and married Rob. Then, she became a stay-at-home mom. About 60 actresses auditioned for the part before more was signed. Moore later wrote that she almost skipped the audition. Morris Buddy Sorrell a Euro an energetic and at times sarcastic human joke machine, one of the comedy writers. Amsterdam was recommended for the role by Rose Marie as soon as she had signed on to the series. Buddy is constantly making fun of Mel Cooley, the show's producer, for being bald and dull. His character is loosely based on Mel Brooks who also wrote for your show of shows. He makes frequent jokes about his marriage to his wife Fiona Conway Pickles Sorrell. In several episodes, it is mentioned that Buddy is Jewish. He was identified by his birth name, Moishlig, 
when he had his belated bar mitzvah in Buddy Sorrel a Euro man and boy. Buddy plays the cello and owns a large German shepherd named Larry. Buddy made a guest appearance on the Danny Thomas Show episode, The Woman Behind the Jokes that aired October 21, 1963. Sally Rogers a Euro another of the comedy writers, and the designated typist, who is always on the lookout for a husband. The character was loosely based on Selma Diamond and Lucille Collin, both writers for your show of shows. She never drinks and quotes frequently from her Aunt Agnes in Cleveland. She has an on-again off-again relationship with her boyfriend Herman Glimmer, who seems to be too much of a mama's boy to get married. She frequently scares men off with her sense of humor and strong personality. Richard Rosebud Richie Petrie a Euro Rob and Laura's son, supporting, Melvin Mel Cooley a Euro the balding producer of The Alan Brady Show and Alan Brady's brother-in-law. Though Mel can often be an obsequiously sycophantic yes man to the demanding Brady, he is also shown to be a dedicated, competent producer who takes his responsibilities very seriously. Mel is constantly at odds with Buddy, who often makes insulting comments about Mel's boldness, to which Mel often responds with a simple Y-E-C-H-H. Millie Helper a Euro the Petra's neighbor and Laura's best friend. Jerry Helper a Euro the Petra's neighbor, Millie's husband, Rob's best friend, and a dentist. Alan Brady a Euro the egocentric, toupee-wearing star of the Alan Brady show. Originally an off-screen character, then shown only with his back to the camera or only in voice, Brady began to make full-face appearances in season four. Alan appeared on the Mad About You episode. The Alan Brady Show, named after the fictional show within The Dick Van Dyke Show, that aired February 16, 1995. Recurring, Stacy Petrie a Euro Rob's brother, played by Dick Van Dyke's real-life brother. Stacy a Euro a quiet, shy, man a Euro is prone to episodes of sleepwalking, during which he becomes, literally, the banjo-playing life of the party, and calls his brother Rob Burford. Fiona Conway pickles Sorrel a Euro Buddy's slightly nutty wife and former showgirl. She becomes an off-screen character after season two. Herman Glimmer a Euro Sally's occasional and nerdy boyfriend. In the 2004 reunion special, Sally and Herman had been married for years, Sam Petrie Rob and Stacy's father, Laura's father-in-law, and Clara's husband. Clara Petrie Rob and Stacy's mother, Laura's mother-in-law and Sam's wife. Mr. and Mrs. Alan Mia and a Euro are Laura's parents. Freddie Helper a Euro Millie and Jerry Helper's son and Richie's closest friend. Sol Sam Pomeroy Pomerantz a Euro Rob's army buddy in flashback episodes, was originally played by Marty Ingalls. The characters' names changed over the course of the series. Ingalls left the role in 1962 to star in I'm Dickens, He's Fenster. In 1963, the character was played by two actors, Alan Melvin and Henry Calvin. Delivery Boy a Euro originally a nameless character played by Jamie Farr in four season one episodes. Subsequently, he was given the name Willie, and Herbie Fay played the role. Mrs. Billings, the head of the local parent-teacher association, who shoehorns Rob into writing and directing their annual fundraising shows. A group of character actors played several different roles during the five seasons. Actors who appeared more than once, sometimes in different roles, included Elvia Ullman, Tiny Bra, Bella Brock, Jane Delo, Bernard Fox, Dabs Greer, Jerry Horsner, Peter Hobbs, Jackie Joseph, Sandy Kenyon, Alvy Moore, Bert Remsen, Johnny Silver, Doris Singleton, Amzi Strickland, George Tyne, Herb Vigan and Len Weinrib. Frank Adamo, who served as Van Dyke's personal assistant and stand-in, also played small roles throughout the show's five seasons. Production Many of the show's plots were inspired by Rainer's experiences as a writer for your show of shows and Caesar's Hour, which starred Sid Caesar, but though he based the character of Rob Petrie on himself, Rob's egocentric boss Alan Brady is less Caesar than a combination of the more abrasive Milton Berle and Jackie Gleason, according to Rayner himself. CBS had intended to cancel the show after its first season, but Procter & Gamble threatened to pull its advertising from the network's extremely lucrative daytime lineup, and the show was renewed, keeping its Wednesday night time slot. 
After going into summer reruns, the show jumped into the top ten by the third episode of his second season, helped by coming directly after the new number one hit, The Beverly Hillbillies. Equals crossovers equals, on October 21, 1963, Maury Amsterdam guest starred as Buddy Sorrell during the final season of The Danny Thomas Show on the episode The Woman Behind the Jokes. Three decades after playing their respective roles of Sally and Buddy, Rosemary and Maury Amsterdam reprised them on October 7, 1993 in the When Harry Met Hermie episode of Herman's Head. Carl Rayner reprised the role of Alan Brady on the February 16, 1995 episode of Mad About You named after the Alan Brady Show, a guest appearance that won him the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series. Cast Reunions in 1969, Van Dyke and Moore reunited for a one-hour variety special called Dick Van Dyke and the Other Woman which included a never-before-seen alternate take from one of the show's episodes in which Van Dyke breaks down and cries after being dismissed from a film role instead of just being disappointed. A 1979 episode of the Mary Tyler Moore Hour featured Van Dyke and Moore reprising their roles as the Petras in a short sketch presented as the brainstorming of Van Dyke and the writers of Mary McKinnon's variety series, who noted McKinnon's resemblance to the gal who played Laura Petrie. In a 1995 episode of the sitcom Mad About You, Carl Rayner reprised the role of Alan Brady, appearing in a documentary by Paul Buchman about the early days of television. The episode included several other references to The Dick Van Dyke Show, including a scene in which Rayner and Razor discuss whether it would be funnier to trip over an ottoman or to step over it at the last moment. In 2003, TV Land produced The Alan Brady Show, an animated special presented as an episode of Dick Van Dyke Euro a Euro Show Euro S Show within a show. Rayner, Van Dyke, and Rose Marie contributed voice performances to the show. A 2004 reunion movie, The Dick Van Dyke Show Revisited, brought together the surviving members of the cast. In this continuation, Rob and Laura have long since moved to Manhattan, where Laura runs a dance studio. Alan Brady re-enters their lives to ask Rob to write his eulogy, with the help of a happily married Sally Rogers Glimmscheer. Theme Lyrics In a 2010 interview on National Public Radio, Van Dyke revealed that Maury Amsterdam wrote a set of lyrics for the show's theme song, So You Think That You've Got Troubles? Well, trouble's a bubble, so tell old Mr. Trouble to get lost. Why not hold your head up high and, stop crying, start trying, and don't forget to keep your fingers crossed. When you find the joy of living, is loving and giving, you'll be there when the winning dice are tossed. A smile is just a frown that's turned upside down, so smile and that frown will defrost. And don't forget to keep your fingers crossed. Broadcast History, Tuesday at 8 o'clock 8.30 p.m. on CBS, October 30 Euro December 26, 1961, Wednesday at 9.30-10 p.m. on CBS, January 3, 1962 Euro May 13, 1964. September 15, 1965 Euro June 1, 1966, Wednesday at 9 o'clock 9.30 p.m. on CBS, September 23, 1964 Euro May 26, 1965. Nielsen Ratings, Season 1, Not in the Top 30, Season 2, Number 9, Season 3, Number 3, Season 4, Number 7, Season 5, Number 16. Primetime Emmy Awards the Dick Van Dyke Show was nominated for 25 Primetime Emmy Awards and won 15. Zero shared with Lynn Fontan and Alfred Lunt for Hallmark Hall of Fame, The Magnificent Yankee, and Barbara Streisand for My Name is Barbara. Home video releases, Image Entertainment has released all five seasons of The Dick Van Dyke Show on DVD in Region 1. Season sets were released between October 2003 and Euro June 2004. Also, on May 24, 2005, Image Entertainment repackaged the discs from the individual season sets into a complete series box set. On Blu-ray, the complete series, remastered in high definition, was released on November 13, 2012. In Region 2, Revelation Films has released the first two seasons on DVD in the UK. In Region 4, Umbrella Entertainment has released the first three seasons on DVD in Australia. 
In popular culture, in 2003, TV Land produced a pilot for an animated TV series, The Alan Brady Show, based on the fictional show with a show on The Dick Van Dyke Show. Written and executive produced by Carl Rayner, it was scheduled to air on August 17, 2003, and featured the voices of Rose Marie as the secretary, and Dick Van Dyke as Webb, with Rayner reprising his role as Alan Brady. See also, The New Dick Van Dyke Show, Mary Tyler Moore. References, Notes External links, Dick Van Dyke Show A Euro The official website, The Dick Van Dyke Show at the Internet Movie Database, Head of the Family at Internet Movie Database, Dick Van Dyke Show at the Museum of Broadcast Communications, The Dick Van Dyke Show Related Interview Videos at the Archive of American Television